Hi there, Firebirds fans, and welcome to the fireplace. Tom Mitchell alongside Claire McMenamin. Claire, sadly, the birdie season, it is over at the hands of our rivals, Sunshine Coast Lightning. Oh, I know, team. It was just an absolutely devastating loss for the girls, and especially by that one-point margin. So definitely not the way that they would have wanted to finish things off for the year, but it was an amazing year for the Firebirds upon reflection. So I don't think they can be too disappointed with that end result. No, not indeed. Well, that brings us now to our Suncorp Team Girls moment. And with this being our last episode of The Fireplace this year, Claire, you've picked out your top three Team Girls moments of the year. Yeah, I have, Team Mitch, and probably my first one off the rank would be the relationships and the partnerships that were formed with the Firebirds throughout the season. We had the emergence of the debutantes with the old stalwart in Geitze and also Gabs in that defensive line with Hinchliffe and Kim Jenner coming in and creating a really beautiful defensive partnership. We had the inclusion of Mahalia Cassidy back into the Firebirds lineup again, recovering from that ACL injury and really creating a beautiful partnership with Katie Nevins as the season progressed. And then down the end, we also had those old timers. We had Romelda Aitken and Gretel Tippett who showed us that you still can learn and grow regardless of how experienced you are in terms of a playing partnership and just experience on court because they took their game to an entirely new level this year. So my number one team girls moment would have to be the evolution of partnerships within the Firebirds lineup. Number two? I don't think you can go past the resilience that the girls showed partway through the season after those two devastating one point losses in terms of their ability to just bounce back in round 11 against the Giants and have such an emphatic victory. And what they really showed everybody was that concept of resilience but more than that it was that idea of that internal belief that spark amongst that group which they held true and strong to and they just continued to go on beyond that round 11 match against giant and, and play some phenomenal netball and take four wins in a row to finish off the season and it was just such a great thing to see as a firebirds fan and finally number three well as we said, finishing the season off with such a disappointing one point loss, what it made me reflect upon was why these girls play netball in the first place. And it's because of the really beautiful friendships that they form throughout this experience and the fun that they have together, not just on the netball court, but away from it as well. And in the face of sort of challenges such as these, in the face of such disappointment as a result that the girls got on the weekend, I know that they'll reflect back upon what's happened off the court during the year and the growth that they've had as a group, but also just how much they gain from each other as a Firebirds family. And I know I'm incredibly proud of them as a former Firebirds player, but also a current Firebirds fan. I'm sure you and the whole Netball Queensland family are proud of them. And all of the Firebirds fans sitting at home, I have no doubt that you feel exactly the same way. So. For the girls to walk away from the weekend, I know they'll be disappointed, but I also know that they'll be proud of who they are and what wearing the purple stands for, and they'll look forward to what they can achieve in 2019. All right, well, let's look ahead at 2019. What can we look forward to next year? Ooh, excitement, team itch. I think the best thing that's coming out of the next few weeks is the fact that we don't really know what's going on. Every single player is up for recruitment again, and the Firebirds haven't had any announcements yet in terms of what we're looking forward to. But for everyone sitting at home, I think the best thing comes from the fact that we know that Rosalie Jenke is at the helm of this team again. And given her previous successes and what she's created at this club in terms of the culture, we can only have full faith and trust in the fact that the Firebirds are going to be good for 2019 and that I believe that we have what it takes to get us through all of the way to the end to that Suncorp Super Netball Grand Final. Oh, I like the sound of that indeed. Claire, thank you and thank you for your time and your expert analysis this season. I'm sure not just myself, but everyone at home watching has really enjoyed it, so thank you. No, my pleasure, team. It's been wonderful. Well, there you have it. That is the last episode of The Fireplace here in 2018. We hope to be back bigger and better next season, and we hope you're there too to tune in. So until then, of course, go Firebirds.